So I wanted to talk about my last weekend briefly, or as brief as possible. Um, there's some government-sponsored program that uh, basically for free, if you just sign up on a first-come, first-served basis, you can um, go on like a mini tour, uh, like on one of those tour buses, and. Uh, explore and learn about Korean culture and history. So, um, you know, I went to a city called Suwon, a little south of Seoul, uh, to Hwasong Fortress, a really famous uh, fortress that was built by um, the 22nd King, King, was it Jongjo, from the Joseong Dynasty. So. I think there's a total of 27, yeah, 27 kings, and he was the 22nd one, but he was arguably the most popular uh, that a lot of people know and talk about today. And um, after that, we went to this temple called Yongjusa, Yongjusa Temple, which literally means Dragon Ball Temple or something like that, which is interesting. Um, so we did a temple stay, so we stayed there for a night, and then we spent an afternoon, and then made our way back home on, on Sunday, on the following day. So uh, I just wanted to talk about some really cool stuff that I learned from the, the, the Buddhist monks. Uh, we had a really good translator, and she basically translated all the things that the monks t told us and, and wanted to teach us and then all questions we had she translated to the monks perfectly so monks and nuns sorry and uh, that was, was great uh, kind of gave me a new perspective that I never even considered before and uh, so I just wanted to talk about that so one thing one of two things so the first thing um, the, the, nun, the nun actually talked to us about um, sort of you know how happiness is what happiness is the foundation of all of our actions so um, you know anytime you feel frustrated or sad or angry or whatever even happy you know of course happy like excited um, positive or negative emotions all of its affected by um, happiness. So one example would be that uh, like if there's if you're frustrated about let's say like your job, you know that's a pretty common one. Um, she re the, the nun really emphasized asking questions like why why are you doing something? Why are you here? Um, you know, she started out by asking us, you know, why did you come here? Oh, because it was on my bucket list. Why, why did you, why is it on your bucket list? Oh, because it was, uh, I wanted to experience it. Why did you want to experience it? Uh, because I want to experience a broad range of culture and I'm interested in Korean history. Why are you interested in Korean history? Why do you want to experience like a different culture? Why do you want to broaden your, your mind? Um, you know, some people at that point got kind of frustrated, like, what's the point of asking those questions? But, you know, she said it's really important to ask those questions in order to identify um, problems, underlying problems that you may just, uh, you know, shake off as irrelevant or unsolvable even, or just not worth your time. But, you know, she really put it into perspective that Happiness is really the <coughs> the thing that the emotion you have to consider, and so you know we want to work in 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 occupation because we need money to survive. You know we need it to pay our bills and we need it to buy uh, food. You know obviously for the necessities, and then there's the stuff, the extra stuff. You know. I want to buy a new computer, I want to buy a car, those kind of things. Um, that make you feel a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. 
Um, of course, this can be applied to anything else, but, you know, and if you're feeling some sort of frustration, you know, there's something that's either hindering your happiness or um, you're too greedy. No, we can get into the greedy part right after I talk about happiness, but it was really cool because she, she just really, she put it into perspective. Like, I used to think about things really, in a really complicated manner, like a bird's nest, but the way she sort of laid it out was really simple, and uh, of course the translation from the really good translator helped as well, but uh, yeah, just putting it into perspective and uh, you know, I feel like whenever I think about things in terms of happiness, whenever I have a problem, uh, since it's so easy to just, you know, figure out, because um, it's just one origin that everything's stemming from, I feel like I can improve myself or I could, um, you know, fix or identify problems quicker. So, yeah, that was really interesting. And you know, going into greed, so you know, Buddhism is all about getting rid of desire and greed. And you know, some people said, "Oh, well, it's counter." Was it? No, it's like um, it doesn't make s it just it just doesn't make sense. It's like paradoxical that you know, if you desire something, I mean, that's how humans live through desire, and that's how they attain happiness. I think. You know, monks desire a state of non-desire. So, you know, someone was saying, "Oh, it doesn't make sense." But to me, it's just you know, you put you ought to put it into context and not sort of. I, don't know, I feel like he was sort of trying to undermine Buddhism. I'm not saying Buddhism is perfect, but you know, to wish for a state where you wouldn't want to wish for excess is. You know, something everyone should try to attain that sort of state. Because the way we're living now, I mean, it's well, it's human nature. It doesn't matter whether you're a capitalist or a communist or um, rich or poor. You know, if you want something, if you have a goal, like if you want to make a million dollars before you die, and you manage to get that, you manage to achieve that in a good time frame, are you going to stop? Like, hell no, right? You're you're going to keep going. So that's the sort of mentality that that drives people um, and destroys people, ruins people. So uh, we had this lesson actually. This is this thing I'm wearing right here. I made this, and um, there's something called the 108 prostations. So we did these like monk or Buddhist monk reps of bows and there's four bows per set uh, and we did 27 sets of them so a total of 108 each bead represents four bows so one set and uh, you know we did four of these bows uh, like you stand up you kneel down put your head all the way down on the mat and you got to raise your hand up like this and then stand all the way back up again that's one it's kind of stressful on the, the feet and the knees. Um, it gets tiring. It took an hour for us to do all of this, but you know, we did this and um, you know, we, we put the beads through one by one. And at the very end, she told us to sort of, you know, fit it on her wrist so that it fits perfectly. And all the excess beads, just take them out. Like there isn't 20, there aren't 27 beads on here. I, I took maybe five out. And at the end, she sort of asked, you know, what, how did you feel when you took out the beads? And we said, well, the, well, the general like, emotion was just frustration or sadness or anger. That, and she said, why? Well, because, you know, we worked hard for it or I feel bad that, you know, those things couldn't be included. Then that was the general idea. And she said, well, if you think about happiness, like this is, this is, everyone has a maximum amount of happiness that they can control 
or um, they have a maximum amount that they can just contain. Like everyone has a, a cap to how much happiness they can have. And of course, happiness can be defined by many things. Everyone defines happiness differently. Uh, yeah, and she said all those excess beads that you took out and put away, though, that's the kind of happiness that you don't need. This is the happiness that you need and that you should be satisfied with. You should stop being greedy past this point. Uh, because all of the extra stuff that you won't be able to handle is just going to ruin your life and it's going to make you unhappy. Uh, basically rela relating to greed and how people would never stop once they reach a goal, they're going to want to keep going. Uh, so yeah, it, it was a really good lesson um, that I learned. I always knew, you know, people should stop being greedy and you know, I always advocated that kind of stuff, but she really just tied it all together in a really easy to understand sort of way. And uh, no, it was, a, it was a great lesson. I'm I'm so glad I went. Uh, yeah, it's probably something I'll remember for the rest of my life. And of course, this is one of my treasures. So I worked so hard for it. <laughs> you know, I didn't convert. Or anything like that, but you know, this is a really cool lesson. It was a fantastic opportunity. So, yeah, that was my that was my previous weekend. So, uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this rant. I hope you learned something, or uh, I hope I was able to sort of bring in some new perspectives and new ways of thinking uh, to you. And hopefully, that this sort of advice that I learned from them. And I'm sharing with you will help you in the future too.